All right, this is battle report for AT43. We played the Kaboom scenario, which is Therians versus UNA. I think this is in the Operation Damocles book, or it's something that was available online. Um, I just have a PDF of it. So it's the White Stars versus Therians. The, the rules that we used were the from the Damocles book. We didn't use LP, which are leadership points, and we didn't have any heroes. <clears throat> the uh, the sides were fairly straightforward, and we were just like getting comfortable with the rules. Uh, so we didn't use LP. We still rolled um, to see who would win the, the leadership, or who would get the first activation. But we didn't use authority tests. Like they're supposed to be where you have uh, whatever your leader's authority, and then you bid LP and etc. So we use kind of a simplified version of the rules. Um, I haven't played since 2009 or so, so I wanted to just go in slowly. And my opponent uh, had never played before, so um, it, the the Kaboom mission has an objective where the White Stars, the UNA, have to infiltrate this base of the Therians and destroy a uh, generator of some kind. So there's there's two types of things they can destroy. There's a generator and um, there are also um, nano generators. So there's like a huge generator that has to be destroyed and that's the goal of the, the game. And then nano generators which can help out the Therian player. If they're not destroyed they can respawn there um, if there's two, if there's two of them that are destroyed, the force field that protects the the Therian generator goes down. So, the, so this uh, this is not what we played on, but this was the guide map for setup. So this uses the little poster that comes with Damocles or the get for a really long time, and now I think they're like ten or twenty bucks on eBay because people don't play the game so much anymore uh, unfortunately so the these things in the middle are um, the they're the force field that surrounds the generator so you the the, the white stars player can't sit back and fire um, at that they have to get really close they have to get within the, the force field to actually do damage to that generator when two of these are knocked out these little G's, those are where we put the nano generators. Um, when two of those are knocked out, then the uh, White Stars player can actually shoot at a distance and the force field's down. Therians don't want that, but they don't have a lot of choice because the spawn points are pretty close um, to these. There's one over here, one here, and the, the player, the uh, White Stars player can get at the other ones pretty easily. So the army lists for this are the, the White Stars have a steel troopers big unit with two missile launchers, uh, nine steel troopers, and then three steel tack arms, which are the, the smaller mechs. Basically, they're soldiers in mech suits. And then two fire toads, one sergeant, and then either a uh, Iron Rain or Lancelot fire toad. We just use laser one, so uh, just to keep it simple. They can get reinforced. St the, their steel tack arms, if they actually damage the generator but get destroyed, you get another unit of steel tack arms. And the Therians have uh, a small unit of storm golems with a one sonic gun, so there's six of them. And uh, three Bane Goliaths. Now, Bane Goliaths are the real shooty Goliaths, and they can take some damage. They got pretty high armor, um, and they do a lot of damage with their weapons. And then one Wraith Golgoth uh, Alpha, so that's the leader. Again, we weren't playing with authority, so it really didn't matter that much um, that there was a sergeant or, or alpha out there. If we were playing the full rules, it would have mattered more. And they can get reinforced by uh, having um, one of their units near one of their nano generators. either the Bane Goliaths, if the Storm Golems have been wiped out, are near a gen nano generator, they can drop the Storm Goliaths. And if the Storm Golems, or Storm Golems are near, a nano generator and the banes are off the table. They can drop the bane glass, so they can actually drop the bane glass behind the white stars in one of these uh, one of these nano generators. So um, we did not end up playing the two 
3D map, we actually, I have a huge um, Space Hulk uh, that we are using for AT-43 uh, for this mission, so you'll see some of the train, but um, you'll just see a small piece of the actual Space Hulk here. It was built out um, by uh, some buddies of mine with the Necromunda pieces and a bunch of custom stuff. And it's really awesome. But <clears throat> so first turn, um, again, this doesn't work like turn by turn, uh, but we play, you play to five turns. And at the end of five, if the generator's still up, the Therians win. If the generator's been destroyed at any point, the White Stars win. So first turn, we, I pushed up um, my unit. I think I got clipped here by the um, my missile launcher. One of them actually got clipped right here by the, the Golgoth that moved up. Now the Golgoth, as you'll see, got stuck where if you can't move your base through an area, you can't move through there. But it was able to draw a bead on things that came in um, some of the side areas. Uh, to get at the generator, especially if it was getting close. So it was able to be very effective, but it couldn't stomp around inside. The fire toads have smaller bases, so they were actually able to get in there, and then all the infantry, including the bane glass and the attack arms, were able to get in there. So first turn, it was a little bit of shooting, um, and then you, here you see the uh, <coughs> Therian. Now, I, I was playing as the White Stars. And my opponent was the Therians, and so those that's the unit of Storm Golems, and you can see the Bane Glyphs off to the right and the, the ass end of the um, of the, the uh, Golgoth there. And they were kind of working their way around to surround the, uh, the, the generator in the middle so they could just shoot anything that came near. So this is another shot. Um, so on the second and third turns, I threw my fire toads in. Uh, I kind of figured they've got two shots, um, and at point blank range like this, they automatically hit and they can damage the generator pretty well. So I I pushed those in, and then I used the the um, tack arms um, to kind of back up. But it was so cramped, and you'll see from the top down picture next that it was so cramped in there that the units were like bumping up against each other like the two fire toads couldn't um do much because they they block each other's loss and then the uh soldiers i was afraid to move them too close to the generator because they would have gotten wiped out i probably should have used them to um uh, screen uh the other units because they had one missile launcher left and they really couldn't even with a lock shot it doesn't matter how close you are or how far which is great, but um, they're hitting on three or better and doing one damage to the generator, maybe, if it, it punctured the, its armor. So I should have run them up the gut and had them wipe out, wiped out completely because the tack arms and the fire toads actually could have damaged it. So <clears throat> so the, the turn three and four, uh, one of my fire toads was destroyed. Um, the first one that went in right next to it. it. It took a lot of damage, though, and a lot of shots. He was getting pretty unlucky with the armor rolls. Um, and then the Storm Golems came in, and they uh, got in close combat. And we had, we weren't super clear on the rules, so we had um, a little bit of issue with uh, what do you do, like what who's engaged in close combat. I know units are engaged in close combat with each other, but what fighters are engaged in, it got a little bit messy. Again, it was super cramped. So I actually, we figured it out to do it the right way, which is um, explained better in the Damocles little book that comes with the Damocles set than it is in the main rule book, where engaged fighters, uh, there's two states. There's fighters in contact and fighters that, and a unit that's engaged. The unit's engaged if any fighters are in contact, and only those fighters in contact can fight on their activation with their um, close combat weapons. So the, the close combat's a little weird uh, for me. Uh, just used to bolt action and um, uh, second edition 40k and uh, confrontation too a little bit. Uh, that's the Rackham confrontation. So this was actually the end of the game. I had two nano generators already taken down so the actual force field was completely gone. I got four hits on that thing, and then during the about halfway through turn five, I was like, there's no way for me to win because my attack arm was engaged. The fire toads never engaged, but it was pretty close to the storm golems. 
and my um, unit of steel troopers with the one missile launcher couldn't do enough damage and they as you can see here were engaged as well and the Bale Golgoth <coughs> was just gonna ping off anything that it could so I just we we called it at that point with a Therian Therian victory pretty easy victory I mean he didn't have to do much his Bane Goliath got wiped out um, otherwise uh, and his storm golems couldn't get near a nano generator to bring him back so if I'd wiped out the storm golems I still probably wouldn't have had time to um, take out the generator and with that that other Golgoth there the, um, the Wraith Golgoth I would have gotten taken out probably anyway so yeah that's a sad and disturbing Therian victory um, but uh, the, it was a good game. I think we, we learned the rules a bit more. I mean, I, I, my opponent had never played before, and I had played, you know, four or five years ago, like five or six times or something like that. And then a few years before that, um, we had played some games with the Damocles set. So, um, again, this is probably the first of a few battle reports for AT43. I've got a lot of stuff. I found it in a box when I was moving, and I was like, oh, man, i got to get this stuff out and start playing. Um I've got a big UNA army and small but workable, probably two to three thousand point um, Therian and, and Red Block. And then obviously, if I want to spend fifty or sixty bucks, I can get a Cogs and um, and a Carmen army pretty cheap because there's a ton of product out there still. So um, yeah, I mean my thoughts and feelings. AT forty three. I mean it's it, I see it as like a <clears throat> kind of a precursor to bolt action. And uh, at the gates of Antares, uh, it's got some stuff from uh, uh, the activation is from Confrontation 2.0, and um, it's a little bit like Epic in certain ways. And I think it's it's a it's a solid game. Obviously, it has a lot of fans. Um, the scenario was really fun. Uh, I like the fact that there's a ton of scenarios in there, and it's not just to shoot them up. There, we use ton of terrain. That's one of the things I learned early on. You just, it's a game that you need a lot of terrain. I didn't have a good handle on the rules, but I really like the universal resolution chart. I mean, it makes it really easy. Like, oh, you have a five, I have a four. Boom, it's four better. You can just do all the math in your head. You, it's you're not goofing around a lot. <clears throat> with looking at charts it's just like i have x stat you have this stat it's kind of like attack defense and it works out really well um i'm looking forward to doing a full game with like a bunch of stuff heroes you know you've got all your crazy stuff that happens with the heroes like the super well a lot of players that play other games think it's just super cheese you know with the the, the creation of golgoths and um the way medics work and then you pile medics into a unit and it just goes berserk with healing and but that's all good i mean it's 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 how the game works it's not um <clears throat> it's kind of a very every power that you have is a very big deal instead of these little minutia like plus one this plus one that plus one that so it's pretty cool otherwise uh yeah it's a good game so yeah, AT43 will probably do some other battle reports soon uh, and uh, go from there.